A celebration of pioneering women. That's what Father Justin Fulton is calling the time capsule found hidden in the wall of a nursing school in 1928, located near 11th and South. The time capsule was put there by sisters from a Catholic order. These sisters came from Germany uh, and they were invited by Bishop Thomas Bonicum of the Diocese of Lincoln uh, to start a hospital in the city of Lincoln. That hospital would be called St. Elizabeth, the same hospital that is still operational in Lincoln today just in a different location now. When the sisters founded the hospital, they were told there were no funds to support it, nor for the sisters themselves, but they persevered. And in 1928, they built a separate building to be a nursing school and put the time capsule in the cornerstone of the building. But what did the sisters want to tell the people who found the capsule in the future? I think they wanted to share a story. I think they wanted to share a story and that they served their God by serving people. Uh, and that's articulated in some of the artifacts that we have here today. Some of those artifacts include newspapers from 1928, a St. Joseph medallion, and a cross that is believed to have been part of an altar. And while the sisters and the order they served are no longer in Lincoln, their legacy is here, uh, their love is here. Uh, you cannot go out and touch love, but you see the effects of love. Uh, at CHI St. Elizabeth's here in town, CHI Nebraska Heart, um, and then also what the work Centerpoint is going to be doing in, in, the, uh, in the building that they built, you know, and, and Centerpoint is restoring. Father Fulton also likened the work Centerpoint is doing now, helping those with mental illness and substance abuse problems, to the work the sisters did all those years ago. To then uh, have that comment made about the work is uh, humbling and uh, gives me humility uh, in the work that we're doing. The time capsule and its artifacts will be cataloged and combed through by people from the Diocese of Lincoln, and it will be kept there. Reporting in Lincoln, Anthony D'Agostino, Channel 8 News.